Here we are at the 1.5 mile oval in New Jersey, New Brunswick, New Jersey for the running of the Lenovo 250. Only the Target Series is going to come here. So uh, let's take a look at our 42 car fuel before we get going. On the pole we have John Gambit in the 43, two is outside, another Gambit, Jim Gambit in the 60. Third is Derek Hamill, fourth is Jason Larkin, and rang up the top five, you got Michael Canto. Trey Rennie in sixth, seventh is Cole Luigi, eighth Eli Bright, ninth is Mason Hammer, and rang up the top ten, you got Joe Sandrovich. In the rest of the field will go Isaac Nichols and Bracing Collins, then you got Justin Heath, who's up there in the top three in points, and then Marcus Sachi. JT Hanley and Carter Friesen, along with two teammates, Jonathan Beefer and Luke Rainey, and then Jason Smith Jr. and Levi Shones on the next row. Jake Richardson and two is inside points there. Alex Stewart, he's starting towards the middle of the field. Then you got Jay Gambit and Jake West, along with Robert Hernandez and Jeff Samito, Tyler Lyman and Riley Spirly Tube, Patrick Smith and Tim Randolph, then Tim Gary and Joe Jefferson, Evan Hunter and TJ Hanley, Steve Larker and Alexander Rowe, Jay Jefferson and Jeff Wright. Also another guy in the top three in points, Max Harrison starts at the back of the field, and then Kyle Hunter in the round of the field in the last row, row 21, Julius Harrison and Colton Yo in the 39. We'll start 41st and 42nd. So that's your 42 car field here at New Jersey. Let's now go down track side for the command. In honor of the Highway Patrol 75 years of service, gentlemen, start your engines. Guys, go out there and have some fun today. Just like I said, today in the meeting, you know, this is a good racetrack. It's a good place for us. I think the picture is ready to go. Let's go have some fun. And what a great camera angle this is over the 1.5 mile New Jersey Motor Speedway. See all point, all 1.5 miles of this track, definitely a beauty here in the nighttime. So the gambit to lead the field to the green flag is the pace car makes left turn into pit road. We got 26 laps around 1.5 miles here in New Jersey. John Gambit on the front row, Jim Gambit to his outside. They come down into the restart zone. When does John Gambit choose to go? The green flag is in the air. We're racing here at New Jersey. Boy, John Gambit definitely chose when he wanted to go as so they come down the back stretch three wide behind and it definitely caught some people sleeping and some people are really going to fall back here. Jim Gambit starting on the outside of the front row. There he is all the way back battling for fourth now with Cole Luigi. Off of turn number four, the first battle is for fourth and third. Cole Luigi trying to get by Jim Gambit. Lap one led by John Gambit. We're going to stay green. This is the front two pull away. This is what New Jersey is kind of like a few car. Oh, they're reckoning one and two, I believe. Yeah. Jeff Smeal, Joe George, Trey Rainey involved. Jake Richardson, the 88 with damage. And that was up towards the front two. Caution will come out. Here they are racing back. John Gamut in the 43. Derek Hamill in the 19. John Gamut in the 43. We'll get back in front. But already issues. Trey Rainey, the bad luck continues for him. Involved in another crash with Joe Sandrovich and others just outside the top 10, I believe. Let's see what happened. Four wide. Doesn't work here. As we've just seen now, Trey Rainey up top, Joe Sandroge, Marcus Sacha are going to make some contact right there. And uh, they go down. And it's going to spin Sandroge into Jeff Samito. Oh, look at Trey Rainey up on his side. Doesn't go all the way over. And that's where Jake Richardson got his damage. Marcus Sacha, I think, was able to save the car ahead with some of the others. But that's a hard hit for these guys. And a tough break for uh, Trey Rainey as he's had some bad luck. This season, it continues. Look at Marcus Sachi, too, down low. Look at him with Jay Gamet. I think they were able to save the car. Yeah, they saved it. They, they, were, they were trying to... Uh, look at this save right here. Look at this. Sachi and Gamet. Gamet comes up, gets into Sachi. The smoke from them being sideways. The apron really saved them right there, I believe. And look at them shuffling off of turn number two, trying to save it. So back in front, you had John Gamet in the 43. Everyone's going to stay out, and that number 43, Sonny D. Ford, will lead us back to the green flag. Coming back to the restart with 20 laps to go here at New Jersey. That crash has tamed four victims. Jake Richardson, Jeff Samito, Joe Sandrovich, and Trey Rainey are all out. Marcus Sachi to pit for some fresh rubber after almost going into a spin cycle. He'll restart 38th. So up front, you have John Gamet in the 43, and second, you have Derek Hamill. Third, Jason Larker. Fourth, Code Luigi. Fifth, Jim Gamet. They got Isaac Nichols, Justin Heath, Mason Award, Jonathan Buford, and Carter Friesen running out the top 10. They come into the restart zone. John Gamet leading. And the green flag is back out. We're back racing. A yeah, pretty even start among the front two. They uh, held their uh, positions uh, from each other pretty well. In fact, I don't believe 
Oh yeah, Jim Gamut does step out of line for a fourth. He's trying to get back by Code Luigi. And I think that third car will surrender more than one spot as they come down the back stretch. Here comes Jason Larker in the number two car. Looking for a pass on second onto Eric Hamill. And once you kind of get up to full speed, that's where the outside starts to have more of an advantage over the inside. So they get great runs off the corner. They're three wide back there. Jonathan Buford, three wide to the bottom. Just neath in the middle. I believe Code Luigi's going to clear that, or he's going to at least clear the 23. Can he clear the 97 is the question. I believe he will off of turn number two. And Isaac Nichols, top of three wide. Not what he wants. Look at Code Luigi going all the way to the bottom. Look at this mess ahead. Second, third, fourth, fifth. All in that battle, Isaac Nichols way up against the wall was luckily able to keep it out. Jim Gambit's going to fall position to Code Luigi and possibly even Jonathan Buford. So Gambit, that car doesn't look very well once it gets back to green. He got a great restart there and got past Code Luigi, but now he's starting to fall back once again. Derek Hamill has dropped to third now. Jonathan Buford looked on Code Luigi, but Luigi with the run off the top was able to clear. So this, this track is kind of like Kentucky where the outside is going to be the place you're going to want to be. But you can make passes on the bottom too. We saw that with Code Luigi. You can make passes if you time it right. Sierra Hayes is going to actually try and do it on Derek Hamill now. So with 17 laps to go. That third car going for third. Jonathan Buford and I believe that's Mason Hayward in the sixth. Going by Jim Gambit behind. Now here's the battle for fifth. Mason Hayward going to get underneath Jonathan Buford. Buford trying to look to the crossover underneath Code Luigi. Couldn't get it done there. He's going to get back up in line. Yeah, and look at Jim Gamut falling like a rock. Back to ninth. Possibly even tenth. And Alex Ewer on the charge. We said he started towards middle of the field. Now here he's into the top ten. Going for seventh on Mason Hayward. I believe he might have it. That's actually for sixth. So Alex Stewart, your points leader. Charging up to the front. Doesn't want anyone else to get to that points lead. He's up to sixth right now. And would keep that points lead, I believe. Derek Hamill looked on Jason Larkin. That, that might actually cost him as Code Luigi. Oh no, Luigi went way up the track. And uh, that third car is actually going to lose at least one or two positions there because of that. And here comes Jonathan Buford to the bottom. Side by side for third. Close at the line. But I believe Buford will clear Derek Hamill and get it. Alex Stewart might break into the top four right here. He's gotten to the top five. He's trying to get by Derek Hamill. Code Luigi trying to follow suit. Look at the battle for the race lead. Jason Larkin looks underneath John Gambit into. Three and four. Getting tight down low, but he's able to keep the gas. And with these guys being side by side, don't count out Jonathan Buford there in third to come and steal this party. That's what New Jersey kind of is. The front few break away, but then uh, some will start accoring back together. It's really only a you know, three, four, five, six car race towards the finish. So Jason Larker clears. Jonathan Buford to second. John Gamut back to third, looking for second now. Alex Stewart fourth. Fifth, Derek Hamill. Sixth, Cole Luigi. Then got Jason Spino Jr., Tyler Lyman, JT Hanley, and Justin Heath rounding out the top 10 at the moment with halfway. 13 down, 13 to go. Jason Larker out front. He got the lead from John Gambit, who is now back up to second. Jonathan Buford is there and there. And here comes Alex Stewart. We mentioned your points leader charging up to the front. He's going for that third position right now, trying to increase his points lead in case he doesn't get a win this season. He can get in on his points lead. And now Derek Hamill up top. He might fall back a position as Code Luigi got a great run through three and four. Here comes that number 30 car. Jason Smeal Jr. up up bumping Hamill in one and two. He might actually spin him out if he's not careful. Oh, he did get him sideways. Wow, Hamill with a great job of saving that car. And Cole Luigi saw that, kind of backed off just a little bit. I think he kind of left the gas once he saw that 19 get a little bit sideways right there. Uh, luckily, Hamlin was able to catch it, but Smeal Jr. up to sixth and really uh, attacking that number 19 car. Up front, the battle for the lead back on. John Gambit's run Jason Larker back down. Now here comes Gambit going for the race lead. Coming to 10 laps to go. The front four have cleared and pulled away. As there's a battle for fifth behind with them being side by side. It's really going to slow them down. Gambit with the peak. He gets a nose under him. And he's got a great runoff turn number four in that bottom lane. He really timed it right. Gambit leads at the stripe. Ten laps of racing to go. They're side by side for third as well. Here comes Alex Stewart in the number four car. Oh, behind them, a big mess. I believe they're three wide back there. Now they sorted it out, but JT Hanley, Tyler Lyman, and Cole Luigi were in a big battle for seventh. As JT around the outside is probably going to clear Lyman. Jonathan Buford keeps his third position. John Garrett gets back to the lead. Jason Larker is now going to try and run him back down. Larker is back to second. 
Nine laps to go. You can Gambit pull away. Started on pull. Led the majority of this race. Jason Larker got back by him. And now here comes Gambit right back by Larker. And now here comes Buford underneath that number two car. So possibly Jason Larker's car falling off here a little, a little bit. But Buford cannot complete the pass. And they're actually catching John Gambit because of the draft. Eight to go this time. About to be a six car pack because Derek Hamill and Jason Smeo Jr. are coming up towards the front. I believe Claude Luigi might be holding up seventh on back. Although I guess he has pulled away from Lyman just a little bit. Now we'll look at these front three under a blanket. Oh, Steve Larker has stopped. I don't believe we'll get a caution. Yeah, no caution, but Larker stopped on track for some issue. They're now three wide for the race lead. John Gambit up top. Jason Larker down, down the middle. Downloads John the Buford. Still three wide across the stripe with seven laps to go. Alex Stewart joins the spell. It's a four-car bell for the race lead. Buford's going to take it. Jason Larker to second. And that's a bell for third. And they got lined up seventh to about twelfth. It's going to be about a ten-car fight to the end. Look at Derek Hamill and Alex Stewart close there for fourth. And that really slowed up the 30 of Cold Luigi. Here comes Tyler Lyman to the bottom lane. Stewart really slow. Is there something wrong with your points leader? He's slowing even more. He might have went up, went up there and worn his tires out. Look at this battle right here for third. John Gambit trying to get back up to the front, but they get side by side for too long. Buford's going to get away. Coming to the stripe this time. It'll be five laps of racing to go. Stewart once again up the track. That car might be getting a little tighter. And it's really hurt Cold Luigi because he's been stuck by him. Look at Luigi move him to the outside. Stewart's into the wall. Your points leader just hit the wall on the front stretch. He's going to drop some positions. Not what he needed for his points position. Up front. Buford trying to hold on over Jason Larker and John Gambit. Coming to four to go. And I should mention if the caution comes out, the race is over. Here it is. Four to go. Bell for third. Derek Hamill underneath John Gambit, but it might be too late. He's got... If Hamill gets to that third position, which I believe he might right here, no Gambit with the great run on the top lane. But whoever gets to third, they're going to have to hope those front two get to Ballon because the front two have really pulled away. Coming to three to go this time. Does Larker wait at the last moment to try and make a move on Buford? Is Buford's car just too good? And is he pulling away from Jason Larker? Three to go. I believe Buford's car is just a little bit better at this point in time. They are running pretty similar laps. Larker just a little t tick faster. But I don't, I don't think it's going to be enough unless he closes in a lot with this draft. Come to two laps to go. It'll be three miles left at the stripe. Front two closing just a little bit. Two laps to go. Does Larker have enough time to get up to the back bumper in the 97 to make a pass? He did run a, a good bit faster that time, just a little under a tenth. He's going to need to run laps like this until the white flag, and he's going to have to try and make the move down the backstretch into three or something like that. Here they come to take the white flag this time. Jonathan Buford in the 97 out front. Jason Larker trying to run him down the number two car. John Gambit's there in third in case these two start battling and possibly beating and banging. White flag one more time around New Jersey. Jonathan Buford out front trying to hold on over Jason Larker and John Gambit. Buford stole one in a three wide as he got by Larker and Gambit, who led a majority of this race as they come down the backstretch. Can Buford hold off Larker as they hit three and four for the final time tonight? Not going to be enough for Jason Larker and John Gambit off of turn number four. Jonathan Buford steals one here at New Jersey. He'll win the Lenovo 250. Great job there by Jonathan Buford in a great three-wide battle. He got by Larker, and Gambit was able to sneak by them. And he comes home with a victory in New Jersey. Let's go and check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Lenovo 250 at New Jersey. There was one caution flag for four laps, and there were three lead changes. Three lead changes. Three, <laughs> three lead changes. Three different drivers led this race. Jonathan Buford ends up leading uh, the last seven laps to get to victory. 
He starts 17th, so he made a big charge up to the front. Jason Larkin leads four laps in route to second. John Gamut, Dominic Carr, led 15 and 26 laps. He'll end up third today after starting on pole. Derek Hamill ends up fourth, another solid finish for him. And Tyler Lyman rounds out the top five. Then you got Jason Smith Jr. in sixth, JT Anley seventh, Luke Rainey eighth, Justin Heath ninth, and Cole Luigi will round out the top 10. So there's your top 20. See there, your points leader coming into the, into the night. Alex Stewart in the four car. Nowhere in the top 20. He was up in the top four, battling with the with the leaders. His car got tight towards the end, possibly tire wear coming into effect. He falls all the way to 23rd with an ill-handling race card there. It's been a tough break for him. Yeah, a lot of drivers just couldn't make moves. Once, you, once you're stuck in the back of the pack, it's really hard to make moves up towards the front. You see some drivers that start up towards the front. Marcus Sachi, Bracing Collins, Trey Rainey. Or I guess only Marcus Sachi and Bracing Collins because Rainey was involved in a crash that wasn't of his doing. But Sachi and Collins... Fall from 14th and 12th to 36th and 37th. And of course, Steve Locker, remember we saw him stopped on track. It was a piston failure. And then these final four involved in that big scary accident. Now let's go and look at the point standings. Here are the point standings. After 15 races, Justin Heath is on top of the points list by three points over Derek Hamill. So Hamill really close to him. In 30, you have JT Hanley. Fourth, Alex Stewart and Max Anderson rounds out the top five. Then sixth, you have Levi Shones. Seventh is Luke Rainey. Eighth, Carter Friesen. Ninth, Patrick Smith. And rounding out the top ten, you got Evan Hunter. So there's your top 20 in points. Right now we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine winners in the top 20. Tyler Lyman has moved his way up to 20th, so he's right now in uh, position to use his win to get into the chase. As we look down now, 21st to 4th, Jonathan B for a 10th winner. TJ Hanley, an 11th winner. They would right now be in the chase because they're above 30th in points. Jeff Bright, we have had 12 winners this season. However, Bright cannot use his win. He's not in the top 30, so he needs to get up there. Actually, we've had 13 winners, but Jake West is down 42nd in points. Not what he needs uh, to make the chase. He's going to need a lot of help. Jeff Bright can do it if he gets maybe another win and gets up there into the top 30. So right now, 11 winners are going to be in the the chase at the moment we have 13 different winners this season so we'll see who wins next race which is going to be another wild one the pepsi 300 at charlotte see you guys then